Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this delightful tag topper gift box. The finished box size is 2 inches by 2 inches by 2 inches, and we're using some brand new products on this. I love the colors, and I just love the way that this box goes together. So let me show you how easy this is to make. We're going to start with a piece of purple posy cardstock that measures 8 inches by 8 and 3 quarter inches. And along the 8 inch side, we're going to score this at 1, 3, 5, and 7. And along the 8 and 3 quarter inch side, we're going to score this at 1 and 3 eighths, 3 and 3 eighths, 5 and 3 eighths, and 7 and 3 eighths. Next, we're going to fold and burnish on all the score lines. Okay, now that that's folded and burnished, I'm going to bring in a template here, and I'm actually going to turn it in landscape mode. So this is the 8 and 3 quarter inch side. Again, you want to turn your paper in that direction as well. That's where you've got the 1 inch section along the top. And I'm going to come up and cut up each of these vertical score lines, stopping at the second horizontal score line. So just going to cut up all the way these four vertical score lines, stopping at the second horizontal. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to remove the two sections in the corner on both sides. And then these two pieces are too big. We're going to create tabs to put our box together. So you want to cut them so you only have an inch or less left. So I'm just totally eyeballing this. You could use your Simply Scored if you wanted it to be exact. And those are going to end up being the tabs that we use to glue our box together. So because of that, we're going to come in and notch each of those pieces. Then we're also going to notch this little one inch section here as well. Like so. So we're going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side, cutting up all four vertical score lines, stopping at the second horizontal, removing the two sections in the outside corners. Then we're going to remove some of the bulk in these two sections to create tabs like the opposite side, and then come in and notch. I'm going to go ahead and do that. like so. Now all we have left to do is to go ahead and punch these two sections. Again, these are the 1 and 3 eighths inch sections with the delightful tag topper punch. What I love about this punch is you can do tags that are 2 inches, 1 and a half inches, or 1 inch. That's what these guides are sized for. And we've specifically made the sides of this box to be 2 inches. So I'm just folding those tabs in enough that I can slide this into place. And you want to make sure you can push this all the way in so that it's hitting the top here before we punch. Then I'll do the same thing to the opposite side. Again, just folding things out of the way before we punch, like so. Look how cute that is. I love that. Now we look like our template here. So before we put the box together, we're going to go ahead and adhere some designer series paper. This is the beautiful woven threads designer series paper that perfectly showcases all five of the new in colors. And these pieces measure one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And I'm just going to adhere those to these four outside squares, not this one. This will be the bottom of the box. And then I'm just going to use liquid multipurpose glue for that. Okay, now we're ready to put the box together. So I'm going to put glue on each of these tabs. We're going to line up this score line with this cut edge, like so, to form our box. And I'm just going to work my way around to all four tabs. All right, now there's our box ready to fill with treats. And I'll just grab a handful of Hershey's Kisses to throw in there. 
So we're gonna fold in the tabs and then the lid's gonna close like this. See how the holes line up on the delightful tag topper. So to close this off, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna use the Rococo Rose Scalloped Linen Ribbon and I'm just gonna cut a piece that is going to fit around this box. We're just gonna tie it in a half knot at the top. And then the trick to feed this into the holes from the tag topper punch, I'm just gonna cut the ends here at an angle. And then again, wrap it around the box. Pinch those two ends together. And then we're gonna feed it through each of the tag topper sides at one at a time. So we'll pull it through one, feed it through the other, and then we can gently pull that ribbon taut. And then I'm just gonna tie this in a little half knot. As I bring this right side of the ribbon through, I'm also gonna kind of twist it so that we've got the Rococo Rose side of it facing up. And then I'm just gonna cut those ends at an angle. How cute is that? And then let's just do a little bit of stamping. I'm gonna use the Delightful Day stamp set, which comes in the Delightful Day bundle, paired with the Delightful Tag Topper Punch, and the sentiment, just a little something for you. We're gonna stamp that in Rococo Rose on Whisper White. And then we're gonna punch that out with the Timeless Label Punch. I've got the sentiment off to the right, because we're gonna make this Timeless Label just a little bit smaller to fit the sentiment. So first punch it with the sentiment off to the left. Then I'm gonna feed this back into the punch and I'm gonna use the putty end of the take your pick tool to get this right where I want it. It grabs hold of that punch just enough. I can move things around as needed and then I'll punch. And look, we've got a tiny timeless label punch. I'm just gonna grab a couple of dimensionals and I'm gonna put them on the outside edges of this label so that the ribbon can still slide behind the sentiment. We'll go ahead and place that on the front of our box. And then I'm gonna grab a Seaside Spray faceted dot and just place that off to the side of our sentiment for just a little bit of bling. And there is the delightful Tag Topper gift box. I love how this turned out. It's a really good size box to fit so many different things. And I hope you'll give this project a try. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements, details, and a picture of the template. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. I have options to subscribe to both my monthly newsletter as well as my daily blog updates, and I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the starter kit is the ultimate bundle, and I'd love to welcome you to my team of Paper Pixies. You can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like a complimentary copy of one of our catalogs, you can submit a catalog request at thepaperpixie.com slash catalogs. If you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.